Hi there, Holly Shields here for Calcone Media. Let's talk copper. What is it and what's its strategic importance? But before we get into it, please sub to our channel and press that bell icon to get notified on our latest videos. Copper is a reddish metal that is atomic number 29 on the periodic table. It is one of the first metals extracted and used by humans. Since the beginning of civilization, the metal has made key contributions to sustaining and improving society. Initially, the use of copper was limited to coins and ornaments. Later, its use widened to tools. Now, copper is a major industrial metal. Given its high malleability, ductility and electrical and thermal conductivity. And believe it or not, copper is an essential nutrient for human health. It helps maintaining healthy bones, blood vessels, nerves and the immune function. Several studies have shown that coronavirus, which can survive several days on plastic and steel surfaces, dies within a few hours on a copper surface. It is an effective agent against a wide variety of disease-causing organisms. That's why copper has been used as a medicine for thousands of years. The majority of copper produced globally is used for the construction of buildings, electrical and transportation equipment, as well as electronic segments, industrial machinery and consumer products. As per data for 2019, the US used 48% of copper in building construction, 20% in electrical and electronic goods, another 20% in transportation of equipment, and 10% in consumer products, and 7 in the manufacturing of machinery. To manufacture semiconductors, many players have started using copper in silicone chips, which enables microprocessors to operate fast and be more energy efficient. The demand for copper is also increasing due to its wide applicability as a low carbon energy transition metal. The red metal plays an important role in renewable energy solutions like wind, solar, tidal, hydro and biomass by improving their overall performance. The surging demand for electric vehicles has also cranked up the demand for copper. It's a crucial metal for the manufacturing of EV batteries, changing infrastructure and control systems. As pandemic-induced challenges led to a decline in copper production, the demand and supply of copper is considered in deficit. Although the role of copper in the clean energy transition is also expected to grow. As per the International Energy Agency data released in May, the demand for copper is anticipated to rise to 1.7 metric tons in the electric vehicle and energy storage sectors by the year 2030, under a sustainable development scene compared to 0.1 megatons in 2020. The demand for the metal in electricity networks are expected to rise from 5 megatons to 7.3 and low energy carbon generation from 0.6 to 1.7 megatons in the same year. Global copper refinery operations were up due to growth in refinery capacity in Peru, Chile, Russia, Zambia and Kinsaha. The global demand for the red metal is expected to grow further owing to surging demand for electronics, renewables and EVs. Given the robust increase in demand and limited supply of the red metal, the copper prices reached an all-time high of 4.90 US per pound in May. Globally, copper supply is considered to be less risky because of its production not limited to, to a single country or region. Copper is one of the most widely distributed metals found across the globe. As per the USGS Mineral Commodities Summaries data, Chile is the leading producer of copper in the world. And coming in in second place is the nation of Peru, which accounts for nearly 2,400 megatons of copper production. So in short, when it comes to copper, South America is a gold mine. Or should I say copper mine? Well, if you like this info, please like, share and comment on the video, give our channel a sub and while you're at it, press that bell icon for regular updates and info, log on to our website at calkinemedia.com. This has been Holly Shields for Calkine Media.